Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today's video is a little bit different. This is more of a, for people searching for a problems as opposed to my general audience type video. This is a tip and trick about if you are running NVIDIA Optimus graphics. That is, if you have an NVIDIA video card with both a dedicated and integrated GPU. And what you might find is sometimes when you run a game or a game engine, the performance is trash. So here you can see, we are in uh, Unity. Uh, I'm running a, a demo scene, and I'm running this on my integrated GPU. Now first, I'm going to show you how you can tell if it's running on your integrated GPU, and that's fairly straightforward. Basically, bring up your control panel. So come on down here, go to Task Manager, and then it opened up off scene. You can see here it is running. Pick the thing that's running on the GPU. My uh, my video encoder is running here, but you'll also notice Unity Editor is running as well, and is running on GPU zero. Now this is the important thing to determine because if you go to the Performance tab, you will see what your GPUs are. So GPU zero is my integrated UHD graphics from Intel, and the performance here sucks. Whereas over here, I have a dedicated 2070 GPU that is not being used. So I'm gonna show you how you can actually set it and the amount of difference it makes. So again, here we are in the editor. It's a little, ch it's workable, but it ain't. it is not a great experience. If we go ahead and actually run our game, uh, it becomes even more pronounced. So I've got, I'm gonna turn stats on once the game runs. So here we go, we're in game mode. Let's turn on stats. And here you can see we are running at 25, 30 frames per second. Um, you can see it in the stats panel right there. That is pretty trash. So now I'm gonna show you how to actually switch this and the end result. Now it used to be that you could do this with the NVIDIA control panel. You come on down here, load this guy up right here, and then you could set it in the uh, control panel that loads up. So this was the default way of doing it. And even better before, you used to be able to say, okay, uh, right click an application and say, run this on the GPU. In all their wisdom, Microsoft removed it. So you had the ability over here to set up program settings for an individual program, and you could tell it what GPU to use. Unfortunately, this does not work anymore. What Microsoft did is made it worse. So now what you have instead have to do is go to your settings. You can get that by hitting the Windows key and X, and selecting settings. And then what you're gonna want is system. And then you're gonna want to go to display and scroll down display, go to graphics settings. And this is the setting you want, graphics performance preferences. By the way, if you are much lazier, what you can also just do is Windows key, type the words GPU, and it will jump you directly to that section as well. And now what you need to do is tell it where to find your application. So here, see, I've already added Unity in the past. So that's quite easy. What happens if you don't know this path? Well, to grab this guy, it's pretty straightforward. Basically, again, go to your start menu, go to the program that you want to run. So in this case, Unity. And you're gonna see here, we have a shortcut for Unity. I'm gonna right click that guy, go to more, and say open file location. Now this isn't actually what we want as of yet because this is just bringing us to the start menu shortcut. Now the nice thing is, now that you've got the shortcut, you can tell by the little icon in the corner there, what you can do is right click it again, go to open file location, and there is your application. So what we do is basically take this guy right here, this path, uh, select it, control C, and then you go back over here into the graphics settings, go to browse, and then we'll do a paste, and enter, it will open up that directory, pick the executable you want, and then add it. So this is like 80,000 times more steps than it used to be. Microsoft screwed this up big time. But now what you do, now that you've got that, you can go to options and you can pick which GPU you want it to run on. So in this case, I want it to run using my NVIDIA 2070 and we shall go ahead and save that. So now when I launch Unity, so here we see spaced out 2120. Okay, so go ahead, we'll open that project up and it now will use my dedicated GPU. Once again, you can tell this by going to the task manager and then looking for finding the Unity. So let's search by name, Unity right here, and you're going to see once it loads up what GPU it is running on. So GPU one. So now we're running on my dedicated GPU. Again, you can check this by going to the performance tab. GPU one is an NVIDIA GeForce 2070. So we're good to go. Now what you're going to see, here we are in the scene much smoother, nicer to work with. We'll go into game mode. We will run our game. And here we go, see, so our frames per second before were 20, 25. Now what we're gonna find is 100. So uh, 75, 80, so you're seeing an order of magnet and you're seeing double to triple the performance. And that's one of those things where if you are running on your integrated GPU, you're going to know it. And in some cases, an application simply will not run. On, uh, if it doesn't have the video features it needs, maybe it doesn't support DirectX 12 or Vulkan or something, then it will fail out completely. So again, the process, 
Go to Start Menu, type the words GPU, and pick Graphics Settings, like so. Come on in here, browse to the location of your application you want to run on the dedicated GPU, click it, and then once you've got it there, go to the option settings and set it to high performance. Now this is applicable for game engines, games, you name it. Now most of the time, Windows should get it right. Now that is a big should. And there's sometimes actually where you're gonna wanna go the other way. Uh, the, the thing is, so you're thinking, well, why wouldn't I run it full speed all the time? There's a reason why Optimus exists. And this is because if it's running on your integrated GPU um, or just basically the, the, the Intel CPU you're using, uh, then it will um, use less battery. It's gonna perform terrible, but it's going to use all a whole lot less battery. When something runs on a GPU, you can expect your battery life to go, you know, four or five hours down to one to two. It makes a huge impact. So that's why Optimus exists. There are some programs you may want to force to run this way. So for example, if I go and look at the GPU control panel, you're going to see I have all kinds of applications running on the GPU. And I don't really, like, why is my Logitech mouse driver running on the GPU? And that's because Microsoft is kind of stupid. So what I could do is I could come through and force things I wanted to to actually run on the integrated graphics. Now this doesn't matter, I'm plugged in right now. Uh, and when you're not plugged in, it should automatically pick the integrated GPU, but it screws up a lot. So that's why I figured you wanted to know that this is here. Again, you're gonna find all kinds of instructions telling you to do stupid things that don't work anymore. They used to work great, but you'll see some people saying right click and say run as GPU, which worked wonderfully. Ah, uh, that's gone now. Microsoft removed that. There is no way to get that back. At the same time, some people will tell you to run from the uh, NVIDIA control panel. Um, that is, um, so the settings are still there, but you'll notice when we are in the control panel, there is this new message, Windows OS now manages the selection of the graphics processor, and then there is a link to open up, and it'll open you up to here. So this is the only way of controlling it, and this UI is worse than the old way, it's slower than the old way, it's more annoying than the old way, it is just bad. So uh, one of those things to deal with. So if you're dealing with Optimus, that is your problem. Now you may be asking, okay, well, I have an AMD CPU. Well, AMD doesn't have Optimus, so <laughs> you don't have a problem in that regard. So a little tip and trick, if you're getting really terrible performance from either your game, game engine, whatever, uh, and you're running on a laptop, uh, there's a pretty good chance if it's got an NVIDIA dedicated GPU in it, it's probably an Optimus related problem. And here is how you set the graphics card explicitly. So hopefully that was useful to some of you. To my regulars, I'm sorry, this was in direct response to something. Hopefully this is useful for people searching for uh, how to get my damn GPU to work, which I believe is the title of this video. Uh, and uh, hopefully if your GPU wasn't working, it will now. That's it. Talk to you all later. Goodbye.